Yo, YouTube, we finna continue this ACV, man. Um, I finna talk to Miss Ramby. You feel me? I ain't finna kiss her enough, and you feel me? I want to see the Alliance map. The next one is called like Scent. Um, and, oh, our controller tweaking again. Tell me more about Kent. Oh, Kent. Claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. Alright, let's pledge. Pledge to the joint, you baby. I'm for the tweet. I will go as soon as I can. Good. All right. Be safe, Favor. Vassim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. Dag, Basim has brought word of Seeker's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolf Kissed. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. We be hating on me, bro. Vassim has news of Sigurd. We should find. What do I have to do? I'm trying to speak to Vassim. Vinland. What is Vinland? Great. Yeah, I gotta talk to my boy, my boy Vassim. He deep up. Should have grabbed that. Um, I go here. We can be game. make a distinction between faith and understanding. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve. Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean. That is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene. Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? That preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone, not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Now let's go. The instrument of the ancients, Kent. 
Let's get not sent. Or me. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the hidden ones calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hylam sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him, before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations <coughs> to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Falkenstein. It's a woo. Is he finna woo him or something? I'm gonna go to the Tombridge, Tom Tombridge Inn. Don't even know who What you know about the woo, bro? I don't know nothing about the woo. But, um, I can't believe really you say nothing about that matter, you feel me? If Alfred's emissary spent a few days here, someone may. Hello there! Hello. This. <gasps> nice, bro. You were born to ride. What? Too much. Hit it off. Hit it off. 
Be well. If Alfred's emissary spent a few days here, someone may know where he went. Stay away from me, stranger. If Alfred's emissary oh, spent a few days here, someone may know where he went. Yeah, I have to deal with those over here. The blue people. Um. I'm in no mood for wind belching, so choose your words well. Don't play with me. Men of wits. I heard the king's men came through here, cast a stir. A man of your wit noticed them, I bet. I am witty. Finally, someone sees. I'm always telling the wife, but will she listen? Will she bollocks? Alfred's emissary. Where? Him and the bard ended up in a copse by the bridge doing Lord knows what. Sounded like they were murdering a cat. Singing? If you say so. Hmm. I don't even know. We know some joint or something. I get down there. I get in here. Ooh, gotta have this. Oh, yeah. Uh, freaking. Let me don't lock your doors when I'm Who here, bro. Loitering and lollygagging. I'm looking for someone. An emissary from Alfred. Have you seen such a man? Ooh, la -de da Listen to you all, I and mighty. Get away with you, you valley lily. Tell me what you know, or this will go badly. For you, maybe. I'll be dead and you still won't know a thing. You're a strange fish. Did you see the man or not? I did. He was getting pie-eyed with that barred gowan and causing quite a ruckus. They left together. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Harder than it should have been. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See hmm. if he knows anything. I need to get a new controller or something. Bridge? He's slow. You there. You alive. <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. What did he plod? Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Mock control would be tweaking. Not there. Come in the water. I'm drowning as well. You mean there? My controller, bro. Stop tweaking, bro. Oh, God's truth, <coughs> fire on you. Oh, what you fed or wakes me? Are you the tail weaver? Gowan the dandelion. For the seeds of my stories flit upon the winds of Wessex. But why, mule, do you kick my noggin? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast. Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks. And in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. Um, we gotta go. I need... What control and you stop, bro? For real, for real. 2,000 meters? Where though? Over here? Man, that's deep, bro. Let 
Shit, level. Here's the message. We'll have to not shed blood, bro. Try to just walk up in here. I like lose the mission or something? If I... That shield. Um, Survey the area. Hey, what the? Emissary oh, carries the message. No there he is. Good. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, keep me out of trouble. Can't kill him. Can I fail the mission, buddy. Wait, I changed my um, my skill, my ability. I hate this controller, bro. What is that? Yo. Fascinate. Is he dead? Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tetment. The Abbot Cunibert will want to know. Guess that might be like bad for um. Who pickpocketed him? Basim and the Abbot and Falkenstam. Even though he was asleep. Okay. We got the freaking bro. Brothers? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rue Sister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tedmund must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. <coughs> perhaps, perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Bathen? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. 
Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. Who is you? Where got a job for He is self-serving and evasive. Can you really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke. Yeah. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The scorpion and the frog. A children's story? It's you. Who the fuck is you? Nice. Oh my. Nice. Finish. Okay. Got it. Not that far off. Who the fuck is this dude, bro? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. He's tweaking, bro. Tweaking. He's such a high level. Oh my goodness, bro. The frick, bro. Oh my god. He's playing with me, bro. Goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. He's chopping me, bro. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Don't play with me. <laughs> Where you at? Come here, bro. A cautionary tale. Yeah. The scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he needs to cross the frog. I don't know who you were, bro. No more winters for you. Better to die than face my lords. I hope my magister Magnus forgives me. For so long, I looked to him for guidance, for order. If your honor is slow, a true lord cannot forgive you. They cannot. <laughs> now I will turn my gaze to Warden, Tiwar, and Funor. I will continue to turn until I find some forgiveness. Just die, bro. You will spin me. and drill yourself to an endless bottom. Even know who you are. The scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he needs the help of the frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will 
die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Wait, if no. they see me, this will get me. This chase will catch us a plump hen. Yeah. I prefer to work with the shadows. How the freak did you get on fire, bro? What the freak? I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. We must kill this just ahead. Wait, what? Wait, did I? I can. Okay, bro. Take me, Squire. Please, harm of no My um, come on, horsey. Come on, pit him up, pit him up. Give me a javelin. Wait, carry him? Just carry him? On my horse. Can I not put him on my horse? Run, my boy. Yeah, come here, horsey. Cast about this land, my friend. I'm not pinning my hair. Let's see, what the f Oh my god. Who you think I am? Let me go! Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your I don't saints. understand. <laughs> this horse is tweaking, bro. Pin him on. Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working oh. in the shadows. And so we Trick you, Bessing. I was just tweaking on me. He was just. Actually, he was protecting me. I ain't gonna lie. Bring him over here, though. Boy, place him on the floor. Wait, what? Oh, no shot, right? No shot, bro. Find my controller, bro. It's two meters away, bro. Who's that? King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar, you are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tetman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tetman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. 
Danes. T to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tetmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first... I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I can speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays <coughs> me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. You, you, you will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. Yeah, bro. Wait, wait. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Yeah! Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. Why are you else. running like that? I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer. And not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition. But instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The nuns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forger. I still tears bled and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous. But, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. <laughs> Whoa. Where are you going? Bring us... What is this? We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Thank you. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. <laughs> My bad, bro. I, I just want to fight. I don't want to speak to nobody. Alright, bro. My controller. No. What's his voice sound like? Things are out of here. We owe this you our shorty. lives, friend. These Saxon horse sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Hmm. Mercy and will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sisters' walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenifordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. 
I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. For surely, brother. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Mid. For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry. Pass him. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. He took all I had. All I had. What was that all about? <laughs> was I guessing some sentimental type stuff or something? Rue says there will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Okay. Um. Hey, okay, bro. And then. I'm about to use my skill points. Even be peering like that. Um, I wanted. He lost health when landing us down here. I want that. You can use range, bro. I got to do it. I can get this. My controller, bro. Uh, YouTube, um, I'm finna end the video right here. You feel me? Like, come subscribe. But my guy will not stand still. All that. I uh, turn the bell notification so you don't miss another video. You know. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and y'all see y'all in the next one.